Hello and welcome back to another video tutorial on Sashimi Basics. Uh, in our first tutorial we showed you how to do an installation of Sashimi uh, and how to do a quick setup to install CAB files both to the device memory and storage card, how to install uh, reg files that contain registry information that you would like imported, uh, and also how to do a quick setup of a XML file. We used an example of a provisioning mail file that we created with Makisu to uh, set up an uh, email account. Now I'm going to cover another topic, which is how to use the root file and folder copy. So let's go ahead and launch Sashimi. And just like in the last tutorial, we did this using an auto install. I'm going to do the same thing here. Let's go into the File Explorer and go back to our Sashimi directories in our storage card. Go back into our auto. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to clean up what we had from our last tutorial because I don't need to install these things again. So I'm going to delete the cab files that we already installed. And I'm going to delete the reg file, which we already imported. And I'm going to delete the XML file that we already provisioned, since we don't need to run through those again. And now we're going to focus on the root directory. And the root directory, the way it works, is this is a mirror of the root of your device's memory. And that would be indicated if you went to your file explorer and you went to my device, and you are looking here, this is the root of your device memory. So anything that I put in Sashimi's root folder is going to be copied to this location. All right. So let's start off by creating a new folder, and we'll just call this Sashimi Test. And I'll go ahead and just copy this text file inside. So now I've created in Sashimi's root folder a folder called Sashimi Test with a text file inside. When Sashimi runs, what will happen is this Sashimi Test folder will get copied to the root of your device memory here. Now let's take this a step further. A question I often get asked is, how can we restore our shortcuts to the Start menu? So your shortcuts to your start menu, which are stored here and what you see in programs, those are underneath Windows, Start Menu. And what you see here is what is right underneath the Start Menu. And what is under Programs is what you see in Programs. So what I'm going to do is I am going to remove, let's choose to remove the Makisu shortcut. I'm going to cut that and I'm going to paste it in my root directory. But not just in the root of my root directory, I need to mirror the same folder structure that I want it created in. So I'm going to create a folder called Windows and in my Windows folder I'm going to create another folder called Start menu. And inside there, finally, I'm going to create a folder called Programs. So it's just like on my device. We have Windows Start Menu Programs, and I'm going to paste Makisu in there. And as we move back up the tree from Programs to Start Menu to Windows to our root. So looking at the structure here, what this means is the folder called Sashimi Test is going to be copied to the root of my device memory and the folder called Windows is also going to be copied to the root of my device memory and that has in it a subfolder called Start Menu which has a subfolder called Programs which has the Makisu link. And let's just go ahead and go back to our Programs menu and you can confirm that the Makisu shortcut is no longer here right? since I, I cut it and I pasted it to a different location. So now let's go back into Sashimi and just go through an auto run. It's going to go fairly quickly because we don't have anything set up except the root folders. Let's go ahead and initialize that. And there we see real quickly it just copied the folders. 
and then sashimi is complete. I won't reset. Let's start off by looking at the file structure, going to my device. Here you see is the sashimi test folder that we just copied over. Inside of it is the text file. And if we go back into Windows, Start menu, Programs, you can see Makisu is now there and it will also be available when you go to your Programs menu. There's Makisu. So that is the basics of how the root folder works uh, with Sashimi. Uh, there's a couple more options that it supports uh, when using the manual mode to do root copies. You can refer to the documentation for that information. So hopefully this again has demystified some of the um, functionality of Sashimi. Hope you take advantage of it.